Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So, I promised it, it's welding time today. No mumbo jumbo, we're just gonna get on with welding. So it's gonna be quite a lot of time elapsing. Um, I don't really have a lot of time to do this and I really just wanna get, I wanna get the bulkhead sorted today. Um, and like I mentioned by bulkhead, I mean the flitch panels and the inner wings. So the next point of call would be the scuttle front end and moving forward basically with the car. Um, yeah, so, Nothing really to say. If you caught up on the last episode, which I hope you have, you've seen we've made everything ready to go. All just needs cleaning back, basically, and just final fit in and then get it in. Um, I have repaired the top here. You remember we had that tiny little square hole? I've just done that off camera, just to try and get back into it again, because I haven't welded for probably about uh, five months, maybe. Maybe a bit about that. It's got to be at least that. Um, so I just wanted to get back into it. So I'll set you guys up in a few places and we'll just crack on. So let's get going. welding I did on that side ran out of battery which was a bit shit um, but yeah it's one of them but it's ground back gonna do a bit more tidy it back but the hole inside is stone chips anyway so but I've also jumped ahead of the game a little bit while the battery was charging and folded that flange so I'm just gonna weld that little bit there together now it's folded job done so what do you think guys that's that whole panel now done in one if you actually look, I've created the fold, so it actually follows the contour of the wing. Um, obviously we've left too much, so it's going to be trimmed back, but I want to put the front panel on first so we don't trim back too much, because it's easy to take some off, but very hard to put some back. Uh, same story this side, um, but obviously I had to do it in two pieces. So I stitched them both together and started to ground it back now, and this one fits perfectly, because that, that flange is just absolutely perfect, and I've already welded that. So we are getting there. That teamed with that bit up there that's done. That already's tidying back, but when I do the scuttle closer, I'll weld all that up to there, put a little piece in, scuttle closer, done. You can see the factory stone chip, so all of it's gonna get covered again with stone chips, so it's not gonna be a problem, but we're getting there. The whole front is now getting there. So the big, big gaping hole is still that, unfortunately. But that's the next job. Break for a bit of food and a brew, and crack on. But I'm quite happy with that. That saved those wings. So drop in the comments what you think be below, but for me, this car is a get back on the road job. 
I think that's perfectly a adequate, it's solid, and you have to remember, in an event accident, the tabs that are on there on the front panel, if I'd left it how it was, it would have been pointless. Number one, you couldn't have welded to it. Number two, that's just going to fold in an accident. And I know it's awful to plan for that, but that was the Mini's crumple zone, so you've got to do something about it. Um, so now having two fresh bits of steel where the structural part welds to the car, I think it was worth doing it. Um, it just leaves this now, and this is quite straightforward. We don't know how many of these I've done now. <laughs> um, so we'll get cracking with that. So it's time to get this out. If you guys remember on the other side, I drilled holes in this panel. Uh, to plug weld and it was just annoying you to grind them back and stuff like that so this time what I've done is I've cleaned the metal back on both matey sides we've got paint between it um, all obviously you've seen that's all been painted inside uh, and I've just started to clean this edge down bit of a gap at the bottom which is a bit annoying I did it on the other side I'm just not very good at cutting that straight there um, but it, it's nothing you can't sort um, but yeah we're gonna get this out and we're gonna try and recreate there was three spot welds here and then I'm going to do one top and bottom for strength um, so hopefully that sorts it out and once I've spot welded in place can then do all the seam weld up there well that's the plan I think I've just found my new favourite way of doing flitch panels because now that that whole panel is now held in place <laughs> um, yeah, just start welding now. So I'm pretty happy at that. So it's absolutely rock solid in there. So obviously one bit of primer over there, tidy that up after. Um, at the bottom, that flange there, right, clicky knee. Uh, that flange there joins to the new seal, so obviously that's all cut off behind, and we're not going to weld that bit to the floor like we did on the other side. Um, like I said, I'm a bit annoyed, I've got a bit of a gap there. Sort it out. It's not a problem. But yeah, get that really nice tight gap there, so it should weld really nice. It all needs nice and clean, strong metal. Let's get on it. Love that thing. I've had a lot of people also asking me what welder I use, so I use. That's the model number, it's a Kennedy Lion. Um, it's quite a big welder, it's a bit unwieldy. <laughs> um, but yeah, it is what it is, it does the job. Uh, I, I bought it through trade, basically. Um, someone I knew at the time. Yeah, I managed to get it through their work, basically. It was really helpful. That isn't a cheap welder. Um, I believe they retail at about 700 pounds, if not more. So I got it for a really good deal. I couldn't say no, I always wanted a really nice one. Um, yeah, and then another question I get is Hobby World Gas. You sign up, you pay your subscription, so you buy the you basically rent the bottle and you just take it back to be refilled. When you don't want to ever weld again in your life, take the bottle back and get your money back. So they've always been mint, there's suppliers all over the UK. Yeah. guys I am absolutely knackered um, it's been a long day let's put it that way um, but we've made massive progress um, I did run out of battery halfway through so I do apologize for that um, and then I started to lose the light so I just cracked on with the rest of that flitch panel repair uh, so everything is now done we are literally at the point now where we just need to trim back those tabs at the front um, which I'll do when I mock up the front panel and then we're done. It's time to just clean them back and paint the inner wings. 
Uh, it's been a lot of work, I'll be honest. Uh, when I took the car on, I didn't think it'd be that bad. Uh, but it is what it is at the end of the day. It's stuff I've done before, so um, the biggest part of this car has been the bulkhead. It's, you know, it's, it's the heart of it, it's the centre part of your, all your panels that are rotten around it. So you have to get that bit right and solid and clean again before you can do anything. So it's the same to be said for the inner wings. You can't put the outer wings on unless the inner wings are solid. So um, you could have, I could have always just kept cleaning, cleaning, cleaning back that metal. But the reality of it is, is it had got so thin, welding to it anyway, it'd have been rubbish. So, um, and like I mentioned previously in this video, it's, if the car is ever involved in an accident, you want it to be as strong as possible. Um, now, it, you know, it goes without saying that that's got to be your main priority. So. That being said, I feel like I've done it justice in that respect. Um, it's got fresh new metal where all the mounting tabs of the front end is going to be now. So, for a quick walk around in a sec, it is going to be by like torchlight or candlelight, if you want to say it. Um, yeah, it's that time of the year where it just gets dark at three o'clock. <laughs> but yeah, we're done. Happy. Next episode, I will trim back the tabs on the front. Uh, we will make the flange again so the front panel can sit on it. We might as well just try the front panel on just to have a proper look at it. Um, and then it is scuttle time. It's real, start getting the big panels on it now. All right, so under torchlight, like I mentioned, all the repairs are done. So I hope you can appreciate what we had before. <laughs> Just standing in this corner looks a lot better. Um, I've not gone mad grinding anything back. I never do inside the panels here because I feel like at the end of the day, you don't see it and you put seam sealer over it and the more you grind back, sort of the less strength you may could potentially be losing um there's it, i'm really happy with it obviously when you saw the welding footage earlier on you could see the amount of penetration i was getting on the panels it was good um i definitely like the way i did it before there with the spot welder down the, the a, a post i feel like that went way better than doing plug welds on the other side um and we have all of that sorted there that's just it looks better i hope you i hope you, hope you agree um this side move the torch is exactly the same so obviously we did the flitch ages ago uh, we did the repair at the top by that air vent and then we've done the same at the bottom with that panel and you can actually not tell like that flange just carries on i'm really happy with that um this is obviously sticking out way too far this is what i mentioned we need to trim all this back but I, it's harder to put something back than take it so hence why i made it way too big anyway i have plenty of steel so it seemed a bit silly but yeah we are now at the point where it's getting that scuttle panel fitted and start mocking that up to see where that goes it seems to sit okay just got to fettle it in the middle and then try the wings on and whatnot and things like that so yeah it does mean one thing we can scratch something off the list so bulkhead repairs completely done so, obviously there is a lot of stuff to do on this car and there's only two things on the list which is scuttle and front end but that's where I'm focusing my time at the moment the idea to break down one big job into several little jobs is way more manageable in your mind and visually um, I find it a lot easier so start somewhere, make the list, finish that section start somewhere else, make the list, finish that section and work, keep working and working and working and working because otherwise you, your mind gets too busy and you get overwhelmed and you keep looking at the next bit you need to do so I, the best thing I ever did was put this board in the garage it has definitely helped so that's me signing out uh, big day, it was a good day loads of work done hours and hours and hours of <laughs> being out here um, it's been good, it's been well worth it so it's the, the central hub of this car is now solid so catch you in the next one guys when we will be mocking up the front panel to see how much we got to take off these inner wings and we'll start playing around with the scuttle a little bit um, like mentioned i will probably try the windscreen in and stuff like that uh, i might even tack the scuttle where i think it should go try the windscreen in before i go any further because that is a big achilles heel if that doesn't fit and you put the windscreen in it smashes or something um, or it leaks and stuff like that but the measurements i've taken were from the factory settings are where what was left if you could yeah but I have got a few cars around here that I've taken measurements off and it seems to be back where it was. So, Catch the next one, guys. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Um, please give this video a, a thumbs up because it really helps the channel. It really helps us um, sort of get noticed a little bit. And at the end of the day, the more, more we can give you back, 
the better because you know the, the comments and everything are overwhelming with especially regarding the budget comment and people really really like this car so um yeah i really appreciate all your support guys um there's loads coming on this channel like i mentioned before uh we've got some bits on the the um master come in the new project's on its way um actually currently while doing this i got sent a little video of the new project so i'm quite happy with that um but yeah catch you next one guys please stay safe look after yourselves and we're back for more rust fighting soon